hello welcome to my youtube channel for those who i haven't met before i'm emma Ryder, psychic medium and divine channeler and this is your daily twin flame reading they're back okay so please bear in mind that as a rule i tend to read where the divine masculine is at and the message is coming through from the divine masculine in no way, shape or form am I saying that this journey is one-sided as I 100% know it isn't. So please do switch DM to DF if that resonates with your journey. Trust in your heart. Always. So, I'm actually going to use the mirror cards today. They feel to be very much... They've been a big part of today's readings, in fairness. Um... <clears throat> so let's have a look at those and just a heads up that there is 30% off or well, just over 30% off um, personal twin flame readings. Um, if you want one of those, check the website out. December is nearly full now. Okay, so what do we need to know? I feel... Um, I've got very much um, uh, a fizzing in my throat chakra. I feel that there's um, I'm hearing words unspoken. still mean so much why are they giving me that words unspoken well in fairness i feel that there's been a lot of unspoken words up to this point it's been there's been a lot of meaningful moments where words have not necessarily been spoken but have been very much held held in the heart space it's making me feel quite emotional and there's definitely a feeling of actually wanting to share those unspoken words, wanting to fully bring them to the surface. Because holding them in is getting too much. So the Divine Masculines have been going over those unspoken words, those unspoken moments. Moments where there's been silence but a lot said between souls. Moments where there's been... craziness and so much said between hearts But now they're feeling like they're needing to voice these moments. Because I feel like they are saying to themselves, asking themselves, was the message really given? Was the message really put across? Did my, did it really come across as it was needing to? Did it really be said how it was meant to and <clears throat> it 
it feels very It's weighing heavy on the Divine Masculines that it's not known. Did they really feel it? Did they really know what I was saying? Did they really know how I'm feeling? What if they don't? What if, they, what if they're living a life of not understanding how I feel because I didn't say it because I just thought the moment was enough? And now I realise the moment wasn't enough and I need them to know. I want them to know. I need to share this. I need to give them confirmation of the unsaid word and so, so much more. I need to get it off my chest. It's weighing heavy on me. What if I never get the chance to tell you? What if you need needing to know this? What if this information makes all the difference? What if it changes everything? What if it makes a difference in the now? What if? There's so many what ifs. I feel it's almost like... If somebody said to you... If you'd only got today to share, to tell people how you feel, if you this is your last day, who are you going to talk to? Who do you want to see? Who do you want to speak to? Who do you want to share with? And it's that sort of feeling I feel like the divine masculines are coming through with. I need to share this. I need to get this off my chest. Why? Why? What if I never get the chance again? And it's really that whatever sparked this thinking within the divine masculine is really pushing them forwards and making this mean it's like it's making everything mean more and they've been worrying about the things that they shouldn't be this is a very very interesting energy for the divine masculines i'm so looking forward to tomorrow's read thank you so very much for joining me please do me a massive favor like and comment on the video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button I am so, so very grateful for all of your support and love. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. Bye.